Hi, this is Nkechi from The Vent. I would like to welcome you to The Vent Craft if you're just joining me for the first time. I make it a point of duty in this channel to show you how to make lovely, unique fascinator designs as well as tips and tricks in your millinery journey and I crown it up with some catalogs on new designs I create to increase your creative ability. So today I would be showing you how to make this cute Spider-Man's web fascinator as usual you stay to the very end of this video would ensure you don't miss out on winning prizes from me like Ijoma Iziaka who won my last prize to attend the Ventcraft Academy Pros class 2 for free and also people are winning on my Facebook group too like Simeon who sent pictures of what she and her 11 year old daughter made after watching some of my videos on YouTube to my Facebook group thanks to you all for showing me the fruits of my labor please do take some time off now before we dive into today's tutorial to click the subscribe button if you're joining me for the first time the subscribe button is below this video and the bell button also you seriously truthfully don't want to miss any of my upcoming videos so let's dive in so today we'll be making use of the bronze hat wire this is more flexible and um, our alice band yeah this size this is the iron one then b6000 uh, that's our needle and matching thread to our crinoline and all that we're using scissors thread then this mat yeah this mat was cut out from this mat can you see so now there's no waste in your mat when you use it to make a satellite fascinator in that cool then this brooch that i made this flower brooch you know, you want to join our class to get to learn how to make some brooches to use like this then our three inches crinoline then that's the bias then pegs then this uh, uh okay i'll call this spikes which we used to make our spider-man's web okay so i guess it's time to move to the next level okay so we're going to be sewing our hot wire to the mat now what i'm doing right now is checking which part is the front you have a front and you have the back so i'm going to be placing it on the back side of the mat so that's how we're going to sew it just the same way you sew um the fascinator the hat wire to your fascinator if you're sewing it's the same way we're going to do so just keep watching and learning So we're going to sew it all around. Okay, so we're in the finishing part right now. That's the last layer that I'm sewing right now. So just keep watching. That's how you sew it. Make sure that the wire comes in. The two of them are inside, not shooting out so you don't have it mm, shooking or pinning anyone, you know. Okay, so that's the way we do it. The next thing you do is you take your cutter and cut that piece and you keep on sewing. Now this hat wire cutter is the best I have seen, really, as in it makes work so easy. You don't have to be bending and bending and bending the wire. Anyway, if you want to get one, you can contact me on my number that is in the description below and um, we'll see how we can get it across to you. So that's it. I've totally sewn around the mat. And if you notice, the mat curved a bit. Oh, wonderful. Makes it look so nice and lovely. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is use my bias to cover up those edges. You don't want the wire showing, do you? So I'm going to be making use of B6000. You can use Uhu gum. That's all right and fine. And as usual, to make your work fast, you make use of pegs so that you can keep on putting the glue and continue moving around. So keep watching and learning. So we're going to do that all around. Okay, so that's the last part we're doing. We're almost done. So you glue that, use your pegs to hold it, 
and then we can wait for a while and take it off and then this is what comes out doesn't it look cute okay so the next thing we're going to do is to attach our alice band to the uh, mat that we have just worked on now you have to know where you want to place it is it on top or by the side i love side things i feel it looks cuter anyway everybody to your own opinion so now i would sew it remember whenever you're sewing to the part that shows up be careful to take the thread close so it's not visible but if you're going to cover it with um, an accessory no bother you can just sew anyhow finally an accessory would cover it up so that's it so keep watching and learning Okay, so I'll just like to remind you that the Ventcraft Academy is still ongoing. We have Brush Class 1, Brush Class 2, Fascinator Class 1, Turban Class 1, and Miss Class. So get into the reception and get to know of all the details of all that I've just mentioned. Let's get back into today's training. Thank Oh yeah, I didn't mention how to get into the reception. All you need to do is to look in the description of this video and you will see the link to the reception thing. Just a reminder, don't stop here stay to the very end so you get to know how to attend one of my classes for free on the ventcraft academy yes you get to learn so many lovely things you don't want to miss it all right stay to the very end remember the very end Next step is to attach the loops we made from the 3 inch crinoline. These loops are the same loops taught in our first fascinator class in the academy, just that it's positioned differently. So we're going to be attaching it to the middle there. That's I'm going to sew it to the um, mat base. So keep watching and learning. next step actually the final step in this video is to attach our flower to the fascinator now you can buy any flower to do this but i would advise you join our brooch class to learn how to make flowers and brooches that would stand your work out i'm currently working to release class 3.
then we cut out the spikes and glue them into position using B6000. My dearest apologies, my camera was working and not working if you get what I mean. So here is the final product here, the Spider-Man's web. Really, tell me, doesn't it look like the webs he brings out from his palms? Straight to the challenge for today. Which of my videos is the best that you have used to create wealth? Let me know the title in the comment section below. Then you find a way to send me the picture. The winner would be picked randomly by me and would win to attend Toban Class 1 for free. Keep the pictures coming in because that would be used for the grand finale prize. Stay tuned for more details.